Hi, welcome back. I'm Nisha. In the last video, we discussed about the scope of variables and the types of variables and the local variables in detail. Is it? Yeah. So if you are having any doubt, please go through my video. I put that link in the description box because today's session is the continuation of that variable scope. So let us start this session. So what is scope of variable as we already discussed in the last one. So scope of variable means the lifetime of a variable. So lifetime means all variables in a program may not be accessible at all locations in the program. It depends on where it is declared. So we already know that. Is it? Yeah, wherever we are declaring that variables, according to that only we can decide the lifetime of a variable. And from where we can access that variable. So there are mainly two types of variable scope. One is local variables and the other one is global variable. So local variables means the variables defined within a function or a block. That we know within a function or a block. Is it? If you are declaring a variable inside a function means that variable's lifetime is only within that function. Or if you are declaring a variable within a block means and its lifetime is only within that block. So that is local variable. Now what is global variables? See, variables defined outside a function. If local variable is inside a function, just opposite of that. Global variable is defined outside a function. So how it works, how way we can declare it, just see this. So now let us check what is the global variable and its scope. So global variables are defined outside a function, usually on top of the program. So where we will declare the global variables, we want to declare it on top of the program. Top of the program means just below that header files or we can say uh, near that uh, pro function prototype. We already declared function prototype that we already know. So in the same place itself, we can declare the variables. So that is global one. Okay, now next point. Global variables hold their values throughout the lifetime of your program. So that is the speciality of global variables. What is the scope of global variable throughout the program? Its lifetime is throughout the program. And it can be accessed by any functions. It can be accessed by any functions. It's not inside a particular block or a function. So from any functions or from any block, we can access that variable. That is global variable. Understood now? So what is global variable? It is defined outside a function and it's just on the top of the program, just below the header file. Okay. Now, and the scope of the global variable is throughout your program. And it can be accessed from any functions. Understood? So that is global variable. Now we can check the example, then you will get a clear picture on global variable. See, void display. One function is the display function and we are declaring a, a function here. This is a prototype void display. So this int n, so variable declared int n, it's not inside a particular block or a function. We declared it outside the function. See, void main begins here only. We are declaring just above the function. Okay, so int n, here we declare it. Void main, brace on it. And what are the statements here? See how 10. We will, this we can display the value of n. Then n is equal to 10. We are changing the value. Then display function, we are calling the function. Then see out n. So after the execution of this function, we are displaying the value of n. Any changes there in n or not, we can check it. Okay. And see what those statements are there in the display function. This we are incrementing the value of n and we are displaying it. So how it will work? So let us check. So the execution begins. So int n is a global variable. We already know. And in void main, the program begins void main. And the first statement is C out n. Is it possible to access that n in void main? 
because the computer will check n variable is there in a local or not there is no local variable right so then the next step is the system will check n global variable is there or not yeah it is there so we will get the result of n on the monitor so what is the result here we didn't assign any value here is it but if it's a global variable there is a default value assigned automatically that is zero for an integer one no need of assigning or initializing at the declaration time if we want to assign it we can but by default we will get zero okay so c out n so what result we'll get it zero is it so this n is a global variable and its lifetime or scope is throughout the program and the default value of a global variable is zero so the value of n is what zero see the memory space here n the value of n is zero okay now we can check any changes will come or not see out n okay we got it on the monitor see the output is zero then the next step is n is equal to 10 so inside the main we are changing the value of n only one n is there that is global so when you are using n is equal to 10 means automatically the value of this n will change to what 10 okay so n changed to 10 now now we are calling the display function so automatically the execution will move on to that function so execution move to display function now and see one more statement is there n plus plus n plus plus means n is equal to n plus one there is also only one n is there there is no local variables it's a global one so any function can access that one so only one n is there display can access that n so n plus plus means we are changing the value of n so we will get 11 here okay now c out n c out n from the display function we are displaying the value of n on the monitor so what result we will get it on the monitor yeah only one n is there we are changing the value of n is it so from anywhere we can access that one from anywhere we can update that one so c out n means the output is 11 okay the value of n is 11 now the function is ending so the execution will move backward is it back to main and the next statement is c out n so one more c out n is there in the main function so this change will affect it here or not yeah it will because only one n is there from any function can access that same cell itself is it so c out n means only one n and its value changed by that display function the output is 11 now okay got it so this is global variable understood now so global variables are defined outside a function and it's we are defining on the top of the program see this is the top of the program then global variables hold their values throughout the lifetime of your program see two functions are there one is main and the other one is display throughout this program we will get the scope of that global one and it can be accessed by any functions yeah so from main also we can access we can change the value of that one and this, that change will affect in the all functions so display function also change that value and we display that value and uh, the main also got the same result what changes we made in that is it so this is global one understood now so now we can compare with global and local variables so see the example here void display it's a function prototype int a we declared a variable outside the function so this is a global variable and its lifetime is throughout the program okay global variable its lifetime is throughout the program now void main begins brace open int a is equal to 10 one more variable declaration with the same name but this int a is inside the main so this one is a local variable 
So if we declare a variable inside a function, its lifetime is only inside this main. So here a is a local variable. But there is a confusion. Is it possible to declare with the same name? Yeah, it is possible because this is global one and this is local variable. So we can declare with the same name. So int a is equal to 10. So this a is a local variable and its lifetime is only within the main. Now see out a. So which value will display? Is it 0 or 10? So there is no confusion in it because first preference goes to the local variable. So here the main, inside the main there is an a, it's a local variable. So see out a, we will get the result 10 on the monitor. Okay, now display function. We are calling the display function. So the execution will move on to display function. Inside that function, there is a statement C out A. So here A, which A? Global or local? So there is no local variable inside that display function. But there is a local variable inside main. But we know that its lifetime is only within this. So display can't access that one. So display can access the global one. So we will get the result 0. So we will get the answer 0. Access the variable global variable. Is it? Yeah. So we will get 0 answer. Now the execution is over. We are moving back to the main function. Okay. So here the program is ending. So this is global and local variable. So with the same name it is possible. Only thing we can use only within that function and the preference first preference goes to that local variable but if you want to display the global one or if you want to use that global one also inside that main is it possible or is it is it possible to do with okay let us check i'll show you one more example so here one more example you can see with uh, comparing with global and local variables int a is equal to 10 it's a global variable so we declared and initialized with 10 okay so we got a cell in the memory and its value is 10 now and in void main int a is equal to 20 with the same name itself and we initialized it with 20 so this one is a local variable so in the memory we got one another cell its name is a and the value is 20 now now see out a so which a we already know first preference for the local one so the output is 20 okay now how we can access this global one if it's the same name how we can access it we can use scope resolution operator just before that variable name scope resolution operator means colon colon dot dot okay colon full colon full colon we can use with the variable that operator is known as scope resolution operator when you are using this one the may the function can access that global variable okay so now we will get 10 also in the main so this scope resolution is operator is only for the variable global one if you are accessing with the same name otherwise directly we can use the variable itself okay so the scope resolution operator see the name scope resolution operator this is to specify this is a global one about the scope of that a got it so this is global and local variables so when you are declaring a variable as global we want to declare it on top of the program or if it's a local one we can declare it inside that function both we can access but if we are using a local one only within that one within that function we are using a global one we can access it from anywhere so this is global and local variables clear so i hope you all enjoyed this session so see you in the next video with a 
new topic so till then take care bye thank you